Welcome back, everybody. Knows me every time. Over here, it's a long trip. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest this evening is the Emmy award-winning host of The Amazing Race, now in his 36th season on CBS. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Phil Kogan. Nice to have you back. back. Yeah, and um, I'm hoping you're not going to offer me up a whiskey shot like you did last time. Would you like a whiskey I, shot? I because think maybe I've got... Stephen would wait till later because I honestly don't know how I got through the last interview after you gave me the shot. Because we also have vodka, whiskey, uh, vodka, tequila, and rum if you'd like back there. Just let me know. Yeah, later. If any, if any place, you know, any in this interview it gets a little rocky for you, just, yeah. just give me a wink and I'll go get it. Yeah. Last time you were here, we didn't get a chance to talk about your home country, New Zealand. No. And I don't know if you know this, but. I uh, am so smitten by New Zealand. I love Kiwis. They're the nicest people. They make everyone else in the world seem like complete jerks. <laughs> I love every Kiwi I've ever met. I, I doubt you could name a Kiwi I didn't like. Like, is there any Kiwi that people don't like? The only guy is, the only person I can think of is there, there was a guy who bullied me at school. <clears throat> oh, wow. I, yeah, I'd love to say his name on national television. I won't embarrass him, but oh, wow. no, I'm not going to. And but do, that would be the only. Do you do the adventure stuff down there? Because totally. y'all are crazy. Like y'all invented the modern bungee jumping. Modern bungee jumping. Henry Van Esch and AJ Hackett. He's actually a good friend of mine. He used to get terribly. I met him back in the mid '80s, and he used to get terribly stoned. And he lived in a um, in a Volkswagen van. Mm -hmm. And I actually jumped with him early in '89. And then we have an unofficial world record together with nine of us jumping at one time. Off on the, the bridge? Off the Carrera Bridge, which, which I've done. Which you which went I've to. done. Here's the thing. So where was the van? Was he living in a van down by the river? <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, he was. And this is like when, you know, you, if you were smoking marijuana, there was like a major, like, course, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Now people are a little more liberal about the whole thing. But he's doing really well, and he's an awesome guy, Henry. He was New Zealand downhill mountain biking champion. Mm -hmm. He's a really fascinating guy. And then you remember A.J. Hackett, when they were trying to get the whole thing going, yeah. they went to France, and they jumped illegally from the inside of the Eiffel Tower. That's how they sort of got the whole publicity thing going. Wow. And yeah, but a great thing to do. I was so excited to hear that you went to New Zealand it was, and, and that you I'll go back. And I'll go, I've been several times. I, I would go back in a minute. I would love to take you on a personalized trip. Of what would you, where would you see? What would we do? Definitely, we would go see some of my family members. <laughs> um, well, I'm sure I would love them. They, a lot I'm of them sure play the banjo them. and a few of them are cross-eyed. No, I'm, but I... Uh, <laughs> I'm from South Carolina. No, they're fun. That they're scare fun. Me. They, they love to. They love to have a good drink. And um, yeah, I just went and did a. Yes, exactly. Uh, you wouldn't have to take any of that with you. We could pick up what we need down there. Um, Reefton. There's a place called Reefton. It's, it's like sort of like the last true town of New Zealand, and they're making their own. <laughs> Is that how Reefton describes itself. Do other people describe <laughs> Reefton that way? We're the real New Zealand town. Well, you've got to come up with a promotional tag, don't sure. you? Sure. Where you know? is Reefton? Uh, Reefton is in the South Island. It's mm. it's near the Buller Gorge. Um, my I traced my family name, Kogan. I wanted to know how did the Kogans first arrive in New Zealand. I found out they escaped the potato famine, and and my great great grandfather uh, started off with a farm down there. So I just used that loosely as a way to plan a trip, mm -hmm. and I had the best time. It was it was awesome. Have you been any place as beautiful? as New Zealand, though, because that's the thing, is that every major, like, geological formation, every kind of weather system, every, they've got these two islands, which are only the size of, like, basically, the, uh, Great Britain. Yep, and Japan, roughly the same size, yep. You've got everything on those yep. two islands. We do, we Why have, do? A, we have yeah. a lot, and um, I, I want to say that, ultimately, I have been to places that are just as beautiful around the world, but I think, ultimately, I do believe that places are about the people, like, it's, you could, I've been in the most incredible places on earth and absolutely bored and just sort of like not really enjoying it because it's essentially like looking at a beautiful postcard or a beautiful picture, but unless you're there with people. So mm. for me, New Zealand is home, it's family, it's, it's you know, there's a, a kindred spirit that you have being at, you know, being at home. And so to me, yes, it's beautiful and the most beautiful place for me only because that's where my family is. Well. See how I just... I know, 100%. Yeah. We have to take a quick break, yeah. uh, but please don't go, and don't you go. We'll be right back with more Phil Kogan of The Amazing Race. <laughs> 